that I, I, I've learned that life is experiences. Every, everything's experience. When you, you remember your first date, you remember your first kiss, you remember what your first prom. I went to three of them, and I remember all of them. They all sucked. Really bad. <laughs> but I remember them. So I want y'all to be honest. Who in here today was having a bad day? <laughs> today or this week that was having a bad day? Y'all can be honest with me. Nobody was having a bad day. That was last week. That was last week. <laughs> Come on, last week. What's your name? Terry. And Terry, do you mind coming up here, Terry? And, and being participating in this? So, when I was talking about everything is energy, everything is sound, everything, we are all connected. And Terry, you was having a bad day last week. Terry, what do you do? Uh, I work from home. I do um, computer work. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. What do you like to do? Uh, I like to read, I like to go to music concerts, I like to travel, I like to do crafts. Oh you creative. Yes. Extremely creative. That's <laughs> awesome. Being creative is a great characteristic. All of us in here is creative. Or we wouldn't be working the type of job we work in. So, but this is what I want to do to Terry. I want I want to I want to show y'all. Let's raise her hand. So on the count of three, I want us to give us a round of applause like Terry just showed us how to get the 12 people in our business. Okay? One, two, three. And also I want you to get your money back for, for this service and this is from me to you. Thank you for being participating. Oh, yes. Don't you wish you all yes. went out a bad day? <laughs> so, and, and, and the reason that I did that, y'all can take a seat now. We just want to stand and give her a standing ovation. The reason that I did that, like when I started speaking and people start saying, you know what, what you said, it means something. It's a, I got a feeling. When we're scared, when we're scared, we get a feeling. I'm on a fear program right now where, like, I used to be scared of the dark. Yeah, I can admit it. I used to be scared of the dark. I needed my nightlight on. So we have some bushes behind our house. It's in it's a walkway, and it's a bunch of trees, and there's no leaves on it now, so it looks really eerie about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And I'm a meditator, and I'm, I do my walking at that time. But I never walk behind my house. I will always start out front and walk around the whole neighborhood. <laughs> I live in a nice neighborhood now, and I grew up in the hood. I'm like, yo, I, I can kick a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something about the fear of the unknown. You've never had 12 people on your, on your team. So when you get two or three more people, something might kick in like, oh, can I handle this? We get these, these, that word that I would have, the doubt, like, should I, should I, should I continue this? That, that's a natural embedded feeling that we get. But when we get it, you have a choice. God gave us this amazing ability. God, the universe, infinite eye, whatever you want to call him. He gave us this amazing ability to choose. Choose whether or not we want to be happy. Choose whether or not we want to be sad. Choose if, if I hey, Yvette, that's a beautiful sweater. Thank you. And so you made a choice to, to take my compliment, right? Exactly. So, Mr. Robert, that jacket is horrible. <laughs> I'm used to that. Yes. <laughs> and he made a choice not to get upset. And, and by the way, my wife bought the diamond. <laughs> no, no, don't tell her. 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 <laughs> but did, did y'all get where I was going with that? It's a choice. Everything You choose to make goals. You choose to achieve your goals. I made the decision that, you know what, my association is going to be completely different. I'm not, someone's opinion of you does not determine your reality. My, one of my mentors, Les Brown, says that. He says it all the time. We all have potential in us. We have greatness within us. Greatness is the potential to achieve amazing things. Terry, you created. You know who else was created? Michelangelo. You know who else was created? Uh, Pluto. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Like, everybody that has left their mark on society, in every religion, every deity, they were created. They thought outside of the box. They, they went against what was the norm. And in order to achieve greatness in life, you have to get creative. I don't think outside of the box. That is the worst term ever invented. Does anybody know, tell me why? There is no box. There is no box. Because if no box exists, when you're not thinking outside of the box, you're still thinking in success. You're not thinking in doubt. Doubt is one of the most 
detrimental deeds out of these other deeds. Because when you doubt yourself, you start to doubt those around you. When you doubt yourself, you start to doubt your ability. And uh, I'm going to share a story where this is it's about uh, a man went to see the devil. And he went to see him because he had uh, some tools that he wanted to use for, for mass control. He had fear, he had anxiety, and, and they were all price, good prices. $500 for fear, $1,000 for depression. But he had one that was priced at about $5,000, and it was a small little wedge, small little wedge, and he kept it right by his side. He's like, why is that one up there by you? And what is that? He's like, this right here, this is my, this is my most, this is my secret weapon. It's discouragement. Because what I do, people don't realize this is my weapon. I, I wedge it in the door and I make the room for fear, doubt, and worry, and anxiety, and all those other negative things. You call them sins, but they're emotions. Like, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual, and I understand that anything that's bad is of the bad guy. Anything that's good is of the good guy. And that's how I explain spirituality to my children. And they get it. They love reading about the good guys. And we all love reading about the good guys. We just have to remember when doubt comes into our, uh, any time, it's not our thoughts. We, sh we share our thoughts. And this leads me into my, my number two version is the mastermind principle. We need to give Robin a, a round of applause because she's helped all of our business directly and indirectly. You, but in, in the second principle, Napoleon Hill, rich people get around rich people and talk about how to make more money. Poor people get around poor people and talk about how much they hate rich people. I don't want to be in those crowds. Like when you hate anything, you, you don't get in life what you want. You get in life what you are. This book right here called The Secret, most people don't understand it and dislike it because they're missing the most important piece of The Secret, which is the law of vibration. If you're vibrating, y'all are all here right now because y'all want to make y'all 2016 amazing. And I'm going to be a millionaire this, this year. And it's not because I think about it. It's not because, you know what, I'm chasing dollars. I'm going to be a millionaire because I want to help 27 million people find their purpose. Like my definiteness, my, my goals, my definiteness of purpose change. It went from an ebook. I did the ebook. Now you do another goal. It went from speaking in a hundred places. I didn't get a hundred places last year. I spoke at about 32 places last year. I got a couple paid speaking gigs, but the ones that wasn't, I sold into the universe. And it's paying off now. Because like I was saying earlier, like I got off the phone with Dr. Willie Jolly. He's a world-renowned speaker who is a best-selling author, beautiful uh, singing voice. Locked him into DC and able to talk to him and share the idea that I'm going to share with y'all at the end. And he was like, I'm so moved by what you're doing. I don't know if it's going to work, but it sounds like it's going to work. So you know what? I'm going to give you a discount. And the moment you get me this money, I'll start promoting. That's favor. That's grace. That's amazingness. But we all have that in us. But you know what? I was scared to talk to Dr. Willie Jolly when he came from Stay Motivated, but he gave me some clues and tips on to achieve where I am now. And I brought that up and he appreciated that. We all appreciate when somebody gives us a compliment or someone gives us a round of applause. So in order to start getting people in your business, in order to start getting more sales, start doing it more. Start doing it more. Start getting in more of these mastermind groups where you're surrounded with people who are of like minds who think about money the same. I don't even want anybody handling my money that doesn't think like a millionaire because it's gonna deplete with my energy that I'm putting into it. So you have to realize that even when you, I don't want anybody in my business. You know what now, I don't have to recruit. People come to me and wanna be in my business because you have to find out something that differentiates yourself. What is your unique selling point? What makes you different? Like you have, yeah, you sell incense. Yeah, you sell jewelry. Yeah, you sell lotions. What makes you different? And until you find out what makes you different, then you'll never be successful in that business. You might as well quit. Quit now and stop wasting your money. Like even one of the things I usually start off, nothing, you don't have to believe nothing I say. Nothing I say, but if you want to get something out of here, just open your mind. Because you're not gonna believe or agree with everything that comes out of my mouth. But if you're open and receptive, you can, you can hear what is meant for you. 
I didn't I didn't pre-write this speech. I, I got all the cameras recording because I need to start doing that. I don't write, write any of my speeches. My gift is the ability to take what I read and reciprocate it. My gift is the ability to bring, look, those are two different cameramen. They're not the same, they're not on the same team, but they're both part of the tour. That's another speaker that just came in, and Miss Shelly Shelton. I didn't know her before this year, but she has an amazing story. Her story is more powerful than my six days to six years, or six years to six days. She was blind and couldn't walk, and now she can. She's an MS conqueror. So the first, the first key to getting over doubt is believing in the unseen and having faith. Faith is not some spiritual, religious, esoteric thing. Faith is just, you know what? These goals that I put down, because I put good out, out there, good is going to come back. Because I, because I just gave you $20, I'm going to get 40 back. I don't look at money anymore because money controls. And I'm going to get in that in, in, in the second half. In about 14 minutes, I'm going to get into the money. <laughs> but money controls. You're the controller. Money is energy. One of my favorite books said that I'll give you control over the fowl of the air, the fish of the sea, and everything that creepeth and crawleth on the land. I'm going to get scientific on y'all for a minute. Everything that creepeth and crawleth, everything is energy. So down to the molecular cell is neurons and electrons. Inside of that is matter. And you know what matter does? It creeps and it crawleth. So we have control over that. But you can't control what's outside of you until you learn how to control what's inside of you. Amen. And, and that's what I did. I started to figure out what's helping me. You know what? Going to the club ain't helping me. You know what? Buying this ounce of weed ain't helping me. That ain't helping me. Maybe I'll buy half of that. No. I'm just <laughs> 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 We're going to edit that out. <laughs> but no. But it's, it's just about being honest with yourself. Nothing I say can make your life better. You have to say it to yourself. Whoever I coach, all of my speakers that I brought on part of the tour, I ask them, do you believe we can do this? I believe that you believe. Well, then, nah, we're we going to go on. Next person. Like, I'm, like, even with network marketing, you don't give a vegan cheeseburger. You give a vegan a salad. So you don't take a network marketing business to somebody who has been ingrained in corporate America for about 40 years and love corporate America. You give it to the person who, you know what, just lost their job and, and you, they, they was thinking about network marketing or they did it a couple, a couple years ago and it didn't work because they was in, in their job. But now you come with a personal development approach. Share my story. Like, I'm, I'm, like I sit down with the diamonds in my network marketing and I'm, and I'm going over business plans and ideas. I, I loophole the system. That's that uh, defiance in me. <laughs> But I, but I made that definite purpose. When my mentor sat down with me, he said, what do you want, what do you want? What, what spoke to you the most? And I said, I wanna get on stage so I can share my story. I don't care about platinum. I don't care about the money that comes with it. I just wanna get on stage so I can share my story. He's like, well, if you hit this level in the business, then you'll get on stage. Okay, that's what you think. We'll see. <laughs> and, and my goal is I'm gonna be on stage next year. So faith, building up your faith, I'm sorry, I had to digress. Faith is an action. You do it every day. One of the most enthusiastic individuals I know are the Harborough brothers. They're the ones that coach football. They call Baltimore and San Fran. They play with each other. The reason that they, they, they attack their job with enthusiasm, because enthusiasm is faith in motion. When people call me and ask me how I'm doing, I'm blessed and highly favored. Oh, well, I'm blessed and highly favored, too. Some people never said that in their life. <laughs> Ever. But that's how I, that, because I'm speaking life into me. Even if nobody else see it, I speak it into me. And that's what everyone, one of you have to do. You have to speak it into you every day. Your pastor's not going to give it to you. Your husband or wife is not going to give it to you. Your children are not going to give it to you. If you can't give it to yourself. So one of their quotes is, he attacks enthusiasm. He attacks each day with enthusiasm unknown to mankind. I don't, I don't, 
I don't know if I can touch that, but I intact every, like this job, I'm excited and enthusiastic because that matters. Because it's gonna, it's gonna create that experience. You're gonna never forget that moment that you had this standing ovation, ever. <laughs> You're gonna tell your grand, great, great, great grandkids, I'm telling you, because that's how it was with me when I first got my standing ovation. I was like, for real? Y'all like what I said? <laughs> Thank you. But the next one, I'm, I'm, that's, that's how you conquer doubt. 20 seconds of courage, just do it. Just do it and believe that it's already done. Like this tour is already done. So the next one is distraction. Who, who here suffers from procrastination? Uh, pro procrastination is a killer. It's a killer. But this is, the, this is the way you trick yourself out of procrastination, right? I do this. I, instead of giving myself 10 things to do every day, right? I give myself 20 things to do. And out of those 20, I pick out five that is pertinent to making money in the business. These 20 things that I do on a daily basis all are going to make my business money. So I don't have to do all 20. I just have to do five. And when I do five, I can celebrate. Happy dance, happy dance. But when you celebrate, you create that experience of achievement.